Let us now understand the measures of correlation after we have understood measure of dispersion. So what is measure of correlation? See, it studies the measure and measures the direction and the intensity of relationship between two given variables in which change in one variable is associated with change in another variable. So we try to see how one variable behaves when another variable changes. Okay. So, for example, increase in sale of heaters when winter sets in in cold regions, okay. Ice creams in summer. So, when you are in a very hot tropical climate, you will see increase in the sale of ice creams when the summers set in. Now, let's understand correlation and causation. See, for any two correlated events such as A and B, there are different relations which are possible. So, what are those? Let's say A causes B. So, that is a direct causation happening. What does it mean? Fall in the price leading to increase in demand. That's the most common example of direct causation. Then comes your reverse causation. What does that mean? B causes A. So, increase in demand leading to rise in the prices of a commodity would be an example of reverse causation. Now the next is your A and B are consequences of common cause but they do not cause each other. For example, in summers, we would see the sale of air conditioner rising. Simultaneously, we will also see ice cream sale increasing. Now so even though the sale of air conditioners and ice creams exhibit a correlation, but then they actually aren't related to each other. Then comes A causes B and B causes A. So this is a cyclical causation which I am talking about. What happens here when there is an increase in national income what would happen the level of aggregate demand will go up now because the level of aggregate demand will go up the national income would rise so that's an example of cyclical causation now a causes c which causes b what is that indirect causation so for example we have a lot of glamour we have a lot of money when it comes to a sport like cricket so Many youngsters are attracted to cricket and hence because of that other sports suffer. So that's the example of indirect causation. Now the next comes is your no connection between A and B. That's known as chance or spurious correlation. So here the correlation between let's say the number of chocolates you eat in exams and the marks scored in exams they have no correlation. So that's an example of spurious correlation.